Good afternoon, everyone. It's been a little while since I made a video. Let's see if I can make this green light. Looks like I will. Cool apartments. But yeah, like I was saying, it's been a little while since I made a video. Uh, I've been pretty busy with work and taking care of other things, so kind of uh, threw a wrench in my whole regular YouTube video making operation. But the weather's nice right now. I figured I'd take a little bit of an afternoon stroll around the town. See how things are, and the weather's freaking great right now. But lately we've been having some cold, wet weather. So, I haven't really been on the road quite as much as I would like to. But today's an exception, so here I am. All right, so, not on the road again today. And I think I'd like to talk about my 14 inch factory 47 assault handlebar. A few weeks ago, I took it down to the Harley Davidson dealership here in Fresno to get the stock 10 inch bars replaced and to throw these bad boys on there. So, you might be asking the question, you know, do I like them? What do I like about them? What don't I like about them? So I'll go ahead and cover those details here momentarily. So what do I like about these handlebars? Well, the obvious thing is probably that they look great, right? What you see first, they're just, a, they give it the bike a custom look. And I love motorcycles that have uh, a lot of different aftermarket parts and customizations done to them. Uh, I like this one. Uh, it really just really increases or enhances the look, the overall look of the motorcycle just by, I don't know, like a thousand percent. And that's just an arbitrary number, but it's by a lot. I love this. I love the way that they look. They look great. But in all actuality, if they didn't perform great, I would hate them, right? But luckily, that's not the case. And I'll tell you why. Because first of all, the reason why I got these handlebars is because the stock 10 inch bars that the motorcycle came with was just um let me get through here you're gonna go all right you go ahead all right okay so i'm getting through that let me think about what i was saying what I like about these handlebars is that it obviously raises my hands up a lot higher than the 10 inch bars the motorcycle came with from the factory, okay? And so why is that so important? Well, because after riding, after riding, I'm gonna go more flood. After riding this motorcycle for uh, over an hour, two hours, you know, your arms kind of get, in, it kind of gets in a little bit of a pinch right here in my shoulders. And before, you know, it wasn't really that big of an issue. But after a while, when you think about it, this is a touring motorcycle. And if I plan on going any longer trips, do I really want my arms to be tired just after a couple hours of riding at a time? And so obviously the answer is no. Most of my riding is done within an hour or two. But I do have plans to go on longer rides in the near future, like to the beach or somewhere up in Northern California. And I'd like to be able to take this motorcycle with me and go on those longer trips. So with that being said, that's the reason why I wanted to get taller handlebars because the lower ones were just too low for me. Secondly, one thing that I didn't actually anticipate after I got these bars installed 
was the improved handling of the motorcycle. I mean, this thing turns a whole lot better than it did before. And I think the reason why that is is because not only is it just up higher, but the handlebars, they're spread out a little bit further too. And I think that just gives it better leverage. So when I'm on a, a counter steer, for instance, you just push forward and the bike just wants to move, right? And I love going around the mountain roads a lot. That's where I like to do most of my riding is up in the mountains. And with these ape hangers, it just goes right through those corners so much better than the other ones before. Okay, so yeah, obviously they look better. My arms are up higher. The handling is improved. Um, but let's see, what else was I thinking? Oh, right. And last but not least, my riding position. So not only are my hands up higher than before, but I'm also sitting more upright. Before with the 10 inch bars and with my old stock seat that I had on here before I replaced it with the LaPera. I was sitting up too close to the gas tank and my back was always kind of slouched over. I was always kind of like this. And that was greatly exaggerated, of course. I wasn't leaning that much over, but you get the idea. With my arms being lower, my, arm, my back, my upper back was slouched a lot more. So now that they're up higher, I'm sitting up straighter and I can actually just enjoy the ride a lot more comfortably. So that's what I really like about these handlebars, is that it just really puts me in a better riding position. It improves the handling of the motorcycle. And honestly, the looks, it's just like the cherry on top. It, I mean, you don't have to get this style of motorcycle. Um, they call this like a meat hook style ape hanger. They have other kinds as well. But this is the one that I got and I'm happy with it. So, uh, I just noticed that ever since I got these uh, new motorcycle handlebars that the, my riding experience on the street glide has been a lot better. So much better, like a hundred fold better. Okay, so those are the things that I like about this. What are some of the things that I don't like? To be frankly honest, um, <laughs> the only thing that I don't like is that it, it's expensive to install taller handlebars on a street glide motorcycle. And the reason why it is expensive for me is because for one, I don't do any wrenching on this motorcycle. I'm not a wrencher, I'm not a mechanic. So if I want anything special to be done to this bike, then I take it down to the dealership. So, everybody knows by now that if you get any work done on the dealership at all, it's going to cost you at least twice as much, if not more than that, than if you were to probably go get it done at, a, at another shop locally in town. And that's fine. If that's where you prefer to take your motorcycles, to a, a local, independent uh, mechanic, by all means, go ahead and do that. That's actually what I do with my Harley uh, Dyna Wide Glide. I, I take it to a, uh, a local shop. I don't take it to the dealer. So the question is, why do I take the Street Glide to the dealer then? Well, mostly because it's still in the warranty. And I know that if I have my handlebars installed from a, a, an independent mechanic, that's not going to void my powertrain warranty on the street glide, but what I don't want it to void is other things that are still under warranty for the street glide. It's a the year street glide that I have is a 2021, so I still have about a year and a half left before this warranty expires. So right now, I actually feel better just taking it to the dealership and have them work on it 
because if anything goes wrong i'm going to take it right back to them and have them fix it and they're cool with that and, they, and they'll take care of it so that's the reason why i went there it's mostly yeah i'm going to pay for i'm going to pay more than i would somewhere else obviously but i have the peace of mind knowing that if anything does go wrong it, it's on them it's not on me or it's not on anybody else Probably the best time to actually ride through here right now when everything's green springtime this is actually the first road i went riding on with my dad when i got my license so what else do i do not like about these handlebars uh, well with these handlebars they're the 14 inch tall handlebars what's up guy So the 14 inches tall, which means I had to buy the longer clutch brake cables uh, to fit these handlebars uh, the right way, okay? Maybe somebody knows a trick or a hack that could uh, use the stock lines to, um, to get the 14 inch bars installed. But everywhere else that I've done research, they always said, no, you need the longer lines. It's better just to get the longer lines. So that's why I also went to the Harley Davidson dealership again and had them. I'm like, look, just get the longer lines. Just do the work. You know, I'm getting tired of riding around on these 10 inch bars. I, you know, I need something different. So naturally that costs more money too. Why did I go with the 14 inches versus the uh, maybe the 12s or the 16s? Well, like I said, uh, I wanted my arms up higher because I didn't want to slump over, and I felt that if it was uh, if I got the 12s, it wouldn't make that much of a difference. And plus, I heard my hands would be right in front of my fairing mirrors, and so. After I did my research, I learned that if you get 14s, they'll be over the fairing and you shouldn't have any issues uh, with looking at your mirrors. Or if you go any higher than 14 inches, right? I'm like, all right. Well, I wonder how the 14s and 16s might feel. So I went over to the uh, dealership and I found a motorcycle that had 16 inch ape hangers on there. And I, they let me test drive it, so I was happy with that, that uh, they let me uh, test drive the motorcycle so I can kind of get a feel for it. It was a street glide just like my bike. And when I test rode the street glide with the 16s, it almost felt like my hands were up, but just a little bit too high for comfort for me. And so I know I didn't want 12s, I know I don't want, probably not going to want 16s in the long run. So that only means the uh, right uh, happy spot in the middle is the 14 inch. So I'm like, okay, cool. So maybe I'll just settle for the 14 and I think I'll be all right with that. And I do think that I made the right choice going with the 14 inch handlebars for me. And I'll, I'll explain that later. Okay. But one thing that I realized after I got these bars installed was that, yeah, they're above the fairing mirrors, but the controls right here they're still in the way okay they're still in the way which means if I wanted to actually see my mirrors I have to turn my head this way or I have to turn my head that way and then I could see and that's not something that I wanted to do that's the reason why I got these mirrors now okay so it sort of defeated the purpose of, um, I guess, getting the 12s. 
because one of the reasons why I wanted to go higher is because I didn't want to cover up those mirrors. Well, they're still kind of covered up because of the controls. So I still ended up getting new mirrors anyway. Well, that's all right though, because I, I kind of like these mirrors a lot better than the fairing mirrors. They're up higher, so I could see uh, a lot easier. It's just a quick glance you know, on the mirrors and I can see everything behind me basically. So these mirrors work out a lot better than the fairing mirrors, I think. Okay. But here's kind of where, where the bummer is. If I was, uh, if I had known that the controls were gonna be in the way as much as they are, could I have saved myself a few hundred dollars by getting the 12 inches and um, and getting the taller mirrors, you know, after uh, I got the 12-inch bars, you know, just could I save myself some money there? And the answer is yes, right? Obviously, I could have done that because it's it, the outcome is still the same. 14-inch bars, controls are in the way, still can't really see the mirrors all that well. You need new mirrors anyway. Maybe you could have saved yourself a, a few hundred bucks by not having to get the longer cable lines. And settle with the 12 inch handlebars instead. So, so there's that option there. But to be frankly honest, I'm still glad that it went and got the 14 inch handlebars anyway. I guess the one advantage with the 12s is that your hands would still be behind the fairing and that would block a lot of the wind. And if you ride in cold weather, that could make quite you know, an improvement is having your hands covered up all that much more. But it doesn't really get that cold over here where I live, so I don't really care. I mean, it still gets down in the freezing temperatures, but that's only like in the morning. And then uh, in the afternoon and stuff like that, it gets like in the 40s and 50s. And so it doesn't really get all that cold over here. Not where I live anyway. If you go up in the mountains, it gets a lot colder. But not at my elevation where I'm a lot lower. So anyway, let's uh, go ahead and wrap this up. Would I have been happier if I got the 16s? Probably not. Would I have been happier if I got the 12s? Probably not. I'm, I'm glad that I got the 14s, even though that I had to get the longer lines and I still have to get new mirrors. My hands and my arms are in the perfect riding spot, okay? If I had to go back and think about all the pros and cons, I still think for me going with the 14-inch handlebars is the best option and if you're watching my video for the first time just know that i i'm about six foot three tall okay so i'm not so so that's just if you need a frame of reference then that's how tall i am my arms are about shoulder height but slightly under or i should say my hands my hands are slightly shoulder height but about but a little bit under and that actually makes a big difference because if with the 16s, they're kind of like right even with my shoulders, maybe a little bit higher. And I've heard that if people have their hands up way too high for ape hangers, then their arms start going numb and then they end up having to drop their arms down because they're getting tired or they need to get some feeling back in there because the blood's not flowing up to their hands quite as well as if uh, their hands were a little bit low the shoulders so the 14 inch if i'm making any sense right now i hope i am if i'm not then i'm sorry just go back a little bit and watch it again <laughs> the 14 inch bars puts my hands just a little bit lower than my shoulders and so it gives me it sits me up straighter. I have a lot more control over my motorcycle. 
The cornering is a lot better than before. So really the 14 inch motorcycle, from, uh, the 14 inch Abe hanger handlebars is really the perfect size for me. So I could not be any happier with these things than I am right now. Okay, so if you guys are thinking about getting taller handlebars, I would definitely recommend it. If you own a street glide and you're over six foot tall and you're feeling like, you know, it, the ride could just be a little bit better, you want to sit up a little bit straighter. then yes, definitely get a 14 inch Ape Hanger handlebar for your motorcycle. I don't care who you get it from, but if you want to know who makes these ones, if you like how they look, this is made by Factory 47 and they're the 14 inch Assault style handlebars, okay? That's what these are, Factory 47, 14 inch Assault, okay? But there's a lot of other brands out there that make bars just like these ones okay so do your shopping do your research but 14 inch handlebars are definitely a very good option okay all right so I'll just kind of get through a few of these turns here it freaking looks amazing over here right now get through some of these turns and then I'll call it a wrap so if you guys like what you saw on this video today please give it a like if you think you'd like to see some more videos made by nerd on Harleys please feel free to subscribe let me know if you have any uh, comments or suggestions or if you like the video just let me know in the comments below all right Alright, thanks guys. Until next time, I'll catch you later, okay? Peace.